my video. Okay. for creative insight, 
some of the pistols are used in the lower chakras to help with grounding and centering, coming into alignment with the earth and yourself. So pistols can govern both the upper and lower chakras. They can help to um, just put wonderful feelings into a space to bring the energy, to bring harmony, balance, and healing. So you can walk into a beautiful atmosphere and uh, have the vibration nice and high and pure to be living in a nice environment. And they're beautiful to look at. They have wonderful colors and they all come from the earth. They're all natural. They're gorgeous. And is there any particular crystal here on the table that you are particularly fond of or utilize on a daily basis? Uh, well, I love them all, so it's hard for me to choose, but I, I do have some favorites. But on an everyday basis, I'd say for me, I like wearing the bracelets. I use garnet for grounding and centering and being in my authentic self. I use hematite for the same reason, uh, also added a protection and grounding. So for me, it's really important for me to be grounded and centered as I'm moving through my day and teaching classes. So for me, a lot of the grounding stones. And then when on my free time, I'm in love with the celestite, the higher vibration stones for meditation. Wonderful. They're all beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. for a beautiful event today. <laughs> thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I need to such a good job. Thank you, James. I'm going to interview you in a minute, but I need to get him a lunch, a lunch ticket. Sure, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. We're not worrying about you, but we're going to get you some lunch anyway. You take care of that right now. Yeah, and I want to interview you also. There you go. Oh, thank you. All right. Um, Shelly, how do you pronounce your last name? That's Botchwinnick. 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 And Shelly, what is the name of your company? Color Sound Healing. Okay. Got it. Okay. Hi, we're here today with Shelly Botchwinnick, and she is a graduate of the Holistic Health Program at Georgian Court University. And the name of her company, as you can see, is Tone Color Sound Healing. So, Shelly, tell me a little bit about what you do and why we would need this. All right. Well, the reason I named it Tone Colors Sound Healing is because when you work with the tuning forks, you can actually tune your body like a piano or an instrument. Um, and when people close their eyes and they get into their inner authentic self and they're hearing the different intervals of the tuning forks and the subtle vibrations, they actually see a lot of beautiful celestial bright pastel -y colors. The reason you would need this is it does a few things. Um, it lowers your blood pressure, your heart rate, your respiratory. It helps the brain waves shift from an awakened, maybe a little bit stressful state down into a more calm, relaxed brainwave state. It detects, balances, and opens chakras, removes some stag stagnant energy. Um, and the singing bowls here are great for meditation, and they're also helpful for the brainwave entrainment and the chakras also. Sure. Here's here's some of the drum. This is more of a Native American styled frame drum. And I use this first to ground and root the people. This this helps us also connect our heartbeat to Mother Earth's heartbeat. So we can first realize the oneness. Vibrations from the drum enter into the body and help relax as well and set the tone for the session. Then I work with a weighted tuning fork. This is 128 hertz and this is great. You give it a little tap, you may use it on muscle, on bone, it helps with stiffness, joints. Um, I work along the spine, all the way up from the sacrum up to the cervical, but you can use it on the third eye area. It, it's beautiful. It, it releases nitric oxide, which is a very, you know, very important main component for cellular function. Oh, I also... 
yeah. And then the this is the Ohm singing bowl, which resonates with a universal sound, creation of sound, etc. Sometimes I chant with it, sometimes I just let it sing by itself. Thank you, Shelley. Thank you. Thank you. This is your root chakra, and I, I do different patterns, you know, to help. <laughs> oh, all right. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What an interesting concept. I love it. <laughs> Candles what are we doing? Are we talking interaction? What are we yeah, doing? why don't we do why don't we do this? So I'm gonna be here with a okay, so Dave. Oh, sorry. Hold on. This is good. Okay, we're with Amy Cohen, who is a specialist of essential oils and flower remedies. Flower ready for emotional health naturally. And I work with clients all over the world for what's going on inside in our own personal challenges, any kinds of trauma, any kinds of anxiety, phobia, all of those things that's what hold us back from living life happy and living our best life. And it it's all of us. So as a practitioner, I work with clients, and from that we've created a whole uh, body care line so that you can get the flower remedies, get what you need, and not really think about it. it and they work beautiful. So we can get a uh, so this is a line, I work with a lot of anxiety, I work with a lot of depression, a lot of people that can't even leave their homes. So what we started to do is from what I saw the most um, challenges with, I created a line of um, soaps, which won an award from entrepreneurial.com and then MSNBC called us and featured our soaps on TV. We have a uh, body wash and moisturizer. So it's not only about um, our emotional health, but also we, we've infused these with beautiful oils for skin care, um, castor oil, coconut oil, um, and then infuse them with essential oils um, to boost the power and, and for the beautiful scents. So when you're in the shower, it just fills your bath the bathroom with this beautiful glass. They smell so good. Yeah. These ones are about the candles. You see, they're they changing color. Um, it's just amazing. How do they do that? It has something inside the candle, and it's an LED. I mean, this, I tell you, my husband, I mean, these circles, it changes the colors. Oh, my goodness. I feel I thought it was magic. Now I don't want to know how it works. That's what I was saying. So, they go through, like, five different colors, and it's the most wonderful Bringing color into the home when you decorate it. It is great for color therapy. It is for meditation. We use it in yoga studios. All of these different soaps as well have a purpose. So one is for confidence. One is for focus. One is for the chronic warrior. So all of our products work together to really be, you want to feel peace and calm in your life. And if you're not feeling that, and if you don't feel happy and you don't feel successful, you're out of balance. And that happens to every single one of us at different times in our life. We have these hopes to get over. And um, it's about getting through it so it doesn't change the story. Thank you, Amy. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Great job. We're here with um, Allison, Wellness by Allison, and I can't wait to hear all about what you do. So tell us. Great, thanks, Siobhan. So my name is Allison, and I'm the owner of Wellness by Allison. I'm a holistic health and wellness coach, and I offer nutritional counseling and coaching. I mostly work with women in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s who want to lose weight, find more balance in their life, and decrease stress. Um, I offer shorter-term programs like cleanses. I'm currently offering a full cleanse 
which is all whole foods and clean eating, as a great way to detox. I offer them seasonally, so there will be a winter cleanse and a spring cleanse. I also have longer term programs, like a 6 and a 12 month program, where I work with women on weight loss, if they want to lose 10, 20, 30 pounds, and get back into their healthy shape. Wonderful. Thank you, Allison. Thank you. Good to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I'm behind you. No, thank you. Are you filming this thing? Yep, absolutely. Oh, wonderful. I film everything. Yeah, I got the nose thing. We're doing good. I zoomed in on that one. I got a hair. We're here today with James Junta. He's a good friend of mine and also a hypnotist of the year under uh, transformation hypnosis. And so, James, you get with so many people. Could you tell me a little bit about your practice? Thanks for asking, Shimon. I have a full time practice as a professional hypnotist. I live and work and play in Red Bank, New Jersey. I help people change their habits and change their way of thinking, their way of life. So I actually help normal everyday people with normal everyday problems of living. What it usually boils down to is confidence, self esteem, courage, and things like that. So, in other words, if I had a goal that was elusive for me, and I just, no matter what I did, I couldn't maybe really reach that goal, um, I could come to it. Yes, and you don't might feel good that. Yes. It is such a human experience. And you know, when you get better in one little area of life, everything else gets better. It's like a so, domino. Yes. Make an appointment with me, Siobhan. Here's my card. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much for asking. Thank you. Okay. Great. Great, ready? Mm -hmm. I'm with Steve Ross today from First Aid and CPR. And Steve has something rather unique about his First Aid program. So, Steve, you want to explain why I'm so thrilled that you're here well, to the Well, we're an off site training company, so instead of somebody going out to you know, a strange location, a hospital, a classroom, we actually bring the classroom to you. So we'll bring, you know, if it's depending on the type of training, whether it's for people, we'll bring the, the mannequins, we'll bring uh, the defibrillators, the breathing barrier devices, uh, everything we also learn CPO, right, on site. If it's for pets, uh, we actually bring a dog and we have a cat mannequin. We teach you how to do CPR uh, on the animal, depending on the size of the animal, uh, whether it's over 30 pounds or under 30 pounds. We actually teach you how to breathe into the animal, see if there's any response, check for a pulse. I, pulses are actually checked under the hind leg. If there's no pulse, we start CPR. In the classroom, everybody gets a chance to breathe in. I can actually pull the tongue out, because that's what blocks the airway. Like on a person, we do the head tilt chin lift, we pull their tongue out. We breathe into the snout, get the air in, and do our compression. If um, in the first aid portion of the class, we go over bleeding, fractures, burns, electrocutions, heat emergencies, cold emergencies, uh, poisonings, all the different types of poisonings uh, that are out there. Wow. And how did you get into this? Well, I've been teaching for the past 28 years. I've been in emergency services for 30 years. But what about with pets? Well, pets, uh, the program's been out for about 15 years now. I got involved about 10 years ago. And uh, I was working for a couple of companies, but everything started to downsize, the economy you know, got a little bad. And one of the biggest things we used to hear in the class is, oh my God, i got to take a test and i got to do the skip. People coming in nervous enough as it is, what better place to learn than the comfort of your home, your office, your organization? And as organizations, we actually do fundraising where we donate back 20% to the organization. So, and again, it's certification courses, people walk out with certifications, I, with the knowledge, books, the basic first aid training kit, barrier devices, and we, we 
know, we make it fun. That's great. How did you get interested with, with pets in particular? Well, I grew up with a dog. Uh, okay. And, you know, you know, just growing up, I, as, a, as a baby, I was a toddler, I had a dog, I got, I got married, I had a dog. My, my kids had a dog, so you know, it was always you know, you know, like a natural transition That's for it. you to get into so it. So when when, I, when this came out, I said, oh my god, I got to get involved with it. And, you know, again, I worked in emergency services, you know, a firefighter, EMT. So you I've know, never seen pets in here. It's been out for about 15 years. Really? But again, you know. I mean, everybody, oh my God, when they hear about it, they're from my class. You know, I'd rather take care of my dog than, you know, my family member. Oh and unfortunately, that's, you know, well, uh, that's what, you know, oh that's what the natural, you know. But uh, in general, I we go, you know, it's just sort of, you know, we have fun in the class. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, Georges of Sacred Rose Tea. And we are, I would like to ask you, this is just gorgeous, all the different items you have on this table and the teapots. I just, I want to buy all my gifts here. So can you tell me how you got involved with your business? Yeah, so herbs work with us, they choose us, we don't choose them. And they came as a dream working in specific, specific practitioners. Yes, and the past year has been a major change for me in that all is deepening. So in this past year, I met a beloved and also a teacher, and the deepening of my work is occurring. How wonderful. So what which tea is your favorite? My favorite is beloved. Okay. And what that does it unifies okay. and it also strengthens on a physical level of the heart. Okay. And is that what you meant when you said you met your beloved? You meant the tea. And that was a change or no. what? No. I met, uh, I met my life you met your life part and did you name the tea after this event no. or the tea was the time the be the tea was always the beloved so that was something oh. weird to me. How wonderful. And what is the tea that makes up the lovely? Is it a proprietary blend or all blends? They're all infusions. They're organic and they're caffeinated and they're sleep. And is Beloved, a specific one that you created? All of them are specific that I created. How cool. The most popular is clearing tea. It's an anti-stress, okay. anti-parasitic, and anti-parasitic. Wonderful. Thank you, Maria. You're very welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Beautiful. Great. Thank you. Good job. Ready? All right. Here, I want you to stand right here. Right. I'm going to do it this way. Do you want me to sit or stand? You can stand. Will you stand up for me, please? I always do. You went to Lilydale? Yeah, you see the story. That's you went to Lilydale. Okay, good. All right, good. Hi, we're here today with Rich Bracconi, who happens to be a personal friend as well as a mentor. And Rich, can you tell everybody your story? How did you get into what you do and what is it that you do? <laughs> um, I'm a self-taught, uh, self-learned, spirit medium, and medical intuitive. So wow. I wasn't born with a gift. I don't have a gift. It was something that happened in my life as my life was going in a direction that I really didn't like. I wanted to make changes inside of my life. So what I learned to do is I learned how to shift my spirit forward. I learned how to quiet my mind. And through my new communication, spirit communication, I learned to receive all the truthful knowledge that everybody seeks in life, and it kept on growing. I was able to shift my life around, change my life around, and I started, um, I started developing myself to a point where um, my ability to communicate with people that have passed, my, my ability to communicate with higher wisdom, and also see imbalances inside of people and how to correct them and make people healthier, exists to this day. Thank you. And Rich, one of the reasons I initially came to you, was interested in learning about you, was that you teach workshops for everyone, because everyone can grow their natural talents. 
and that's what's really exciting to me that we all have that ability. So you were like a, a passageway for so many people to learn how to develop that skill. So I no thank you because I really appreciate it. So could I ask you what was one of the main things that you did to help grow grow your sensitivity? Was it meditation or just just sitting quietly? You know, it was so different with me because I've never read a book, I've never had a teacher. I didn't know how to do any of it. I didn't know what meditation was. What I did know in my life is that there was times where I would think and think and think and think and I never came up with the answer to the point where I tormented myself and got confused. So I realized that no matter how much I thought about a solution or a choice that I had to make, it was always my best guess. It always like, this is what I think is true. And then there was other times where I just knew things. I knew things, things would just come to me. It wasn't me thinking that things just came to me and I said, what if that was my spirit? What if that information that came to me was just my spirit, but nobody teaches us how to grow that part. So I focused on learning how to quiet my mind, reduce all my thoughts, and have more moments in my life where I was receiving information, and I just grew it. And so now a shift happened, right? A shift happens inside of my life where that's how I receive all my interactions. Thank you, Rich. You're welcome. It was a real yeah. pleasure. I love you. I love you, too. Thank you. Bye, Dave. I love you, too. I love you, too. I love you, too. <laughs> Every time you felt that something was true, that, that, that spirit was speaking to you, you just kept developing that, you kept growing that. I wouldn't allow, I wouldn't allow any other information to come to me that was outside of that. So I had to make a self-effort to only recognize and to accept that information that was being shared with me because I knew that was always truthful. And there was times when my mind would talk me out of it. My mind would just go right, like, right, nope, right. we can't do that. Right, and I right. go, oh my God, there's two different voices inside of it. So yes, I focused yes, on the yes. one. And so yes. what happened, instead of becoming mind, body, spirit, and never using my spirit, right. I now started becoming spirit, mind, wow. body. And so, and that manifested a different life for myself. Hi, we're here speaking with Dave and Helene from the Trap, Neuter, and Return program in New Egypt, New Jersey. Uh, this is a great program which I'm going to have them explain and one dear to my heart. So we're raising funds today for your program and if you could just tell people what, what this entails. Why am I so ecstatic about your program? Our main goal with the TNR is to trap the feral cats within our area, get them neutered, and return back to the colony. Uh, prevents overpopulation of cats, um, also keeps the population from exploding, where two cats in a five-year period can have 400 cats. Wow. Um, to date, we've done approximately 2,000, at least. Uh, we work off of donations, uh, we're all volunteers in the group, and uh, we're just really concerned about the people that dump the cats as well. That happens a lot in our area because we're mainly a farming uh, community, and so the overpopulation, can, you know, and it's sad also for the, the cats as well, it's, it's not a good situation. We're also concerned about them, you know, uh, with disease, on also spreading to, you know, spreading to indoor cats as well. So it's really important to keep the population down. Yeah, and when they were uh, trapped, 
and taken to the vet for neutering, which they, uh, they're also checked for AIDS and fever, and if that's the case, they're actually put down, so they're not suffering out of the that's right, and that actually happened with uh, one or two of my feral cats as well. And uh, you know, we didn't want the other other cats getting the uh, you know the, the feline AIDS and the leukemia. So it's a great program. I'm so glad you were able to be a part of today's event. Thank you for inviting us. You're welcome, and thank you for organizing all the raffle gifts. We have like about 60 raffle gifts today. So wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I have a Wonderful. And look how beautiful her complexion is, right? 
Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Good. But this is cool. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jay. Oh, no, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm good. All right. Are you smiling? Keep smiling. <laughs> Keep smiling. Bring people over. <laughs> Thank you very much. I really appreciate hey. it. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Siobhan. It's great to finally meet you. And thank you. This is uh, Sharon of Natural Awakenings with Ocean and Monmouth County. And you are one of my biggest advertisers because you help tell people all about my practice and so many other holistic health practices. So we are delighted to have you here. And you're the new publisher. So can you tell us a little bit about your magazine? Certainly. And thank you again for having us here. Natural Awakenings Magazine is a feel-good, live simple, and laugh more publication that is focused on delivering wellness solutions to people. So we don't want people turning to big pharma. We want them to find what nature provides. And we want to help other people who are trying to bring the same message to the public. Wonderful. And I love the articles each month. You have so many great, like here we have Eckhart Tolle. But you have so many great uh, contributors and on-staff um, writers also. And they've written some great articles. Um, you know, we had Tai Chi Cha highlighted in one of the uh, magazines. So thank you. And this is Christine. She's our partner. <laughs> well, thank you. Is there anything else you want us to know about Natural Awakenings or, or some of the items you have here? Sure. So, well, Natural Awakenings, we're always looking for relevant content from our, our regional providers. So, if we have practitioners or service providers or products that are local, we want to help bring that out. And we made some of the jewelry today just for fun to, to make affordable, fun pieces. They are very affordable and they are very cute. Thank you. And then I have bath salt because I love the way in baths. So I bought a hundred pounds of salt and I brought it here so people can try it out for two bucks. Now, do they dissolve in the water? They do. They dissolve in your bath. I'm going to buy a bag of all that. <laughs> Good job, ladies. Good. And I'm definitely going to get get some before the day, so I'm going to go shopping myself. Excuse me, dear. This guy's pretty uh, popular, ain't he? Eckhart Tolle, yes. Yeah, he's, he's very good. He's like a wellness guru, guru or something? Well, What's he do? He's... Eckhart Tolle um, appeared on Oprah. That's it, right. He's written a book called The Power of Now. Miss <laughs> Gupta! Getting people. I'm happy to, uh, it's up to you, though. Is that all right? it's, it's fine with me. It's fine. This is the second time that the press has gotten us together. Oh, it's true. It's true. It, it we really went to Asbury Park Press together. Really? It's this is weird. And I've had 30 clients today. I brought whole Trish in the press too. Look at you. Let's bring more. <laughs> we work magic together. Absolutely. Oh, Absolutely. oh goodness. That's so funny. Not yet. So gross. Make sure you t show Look our face that. then. <laughs> this is my foot bath. It's not. 
coming from you. That's what I'm saying. It is. Like you have Sashiko, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay. It's my pleasure uh, today to introduce you to Dr. Sachiko Kamogata of Georgian Court University in Lakewood, New Jersey. And I'm very proud to say that I'm a graduate of your program, Holistic Health Studies at Georgian Court. And it's one of the oldest programs in New Jersey. And uh, please welcome Dr. Sachiko Kamogata. Thank you. Could you tell me how long the program has been going on at Georgian Court? The program of Master Awards in Holistic Health was uh, approved by the state of New Jersey in 2001. The first graduates came out in 2004, May 2004. Wow. Since then, every year we have about 5 to 10 graduates. It's wonderful. Per year. And when I was looking for a program, there was no program like it in the state of New Jersey. And one of the reasons I enjoyed so much the Georgian Court program was that you would meet fellow practitioners. A lot of them had uh, doctorate degrees. Some were actually medical um, uh, physicians as well. And it was a wonderful learning experience for me because it gave us the science behind the new modalities of uh, Eastern and Indigenous practices. And the combination of that Eastern and Western uniting um, is such a wonderful mix. So I, I learned so much from the program. Right now, though, Georgian Court is having, uh, for some students, they can take it online. Could you tell us about that? Sure. Uh, currently, we have two trucks. One is uh, uh, someone who is coming from a distance and completely online, Master Awards and Certificate Programs. The other cohort, the other group, actually being here, they take advantage of small classroom environment, as well as occasionally they take online courses to supplement their uh, progress. So uh, it seems like the online also uh, is beneficial, even for those who are living in this country, in New Jersey. Right. So it's a compliment, and it's also really uh, good for people who are working full time, and they're trying to have that, you know, both one-on-one, -on -one, but then also time factors, too. They can do it online, so that works out well. But Georgia Court um, University also has a nursing program as well, yes. isn't it? And can you, can you tell, I know sure. you're not the director no of that, but... We, yeah, we have yeah. a wonderful BSN program, so those who are interested in to become a registered diet nurse, registered yeah, nurse can come to our Georgian Court undergraduate program. Some are transfer, some are freshmen come to our program, and uh, they receive BSN, Bachelor of Nursing. Science. Wonderful. Thank you, Sachiko. Thank you. I would just like to add that um, with, with the program, that's where I first learned about the Donna Eden uh, program and uh, from Georgian Court, then I took the Donna Eden. So if it hadn't been for Georgian Court, I might not have heard of her and added that additional practice to my repertoire. So thank you so much again, Dr. Sachiko. Thank you so much for everything. Oh, thank you for being here. Thank you. It's a great pleasure to introduce you to uh, Loanne Mayer, who is a friend of mine and also uh, a wonderful author on transpersonal uh, conversations. Um, Loanne will explain what that's about, but Loanne will also teach people how to do what she has done. And she's written a great book. It's called Celestial Conversations. It's a wonderful read. And Loanne, welcome today. I hope you're having a good time at the Holistic Health.
Catholic nice. extravaganza. I really am. I'm having a wonderful time, and I'm enjoying the people. They're like-minded to me, to you. You draw a wonderful people here. Oh, thank you. It makes you. me very happy just to be in this kind of energy. Atmosphere, right? Yes, 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 definitely. So, Luann, could you tell us a little bit, what is transpersonal uh, writing or transpersonal conversations? What does that really mean? It means of the spirit, literally, that the spiritual aspect of a person reaches out to the spiritual aspect of somebody who was uh, passed on to the other side and the soul-to-soul -soul conversation in, in, comes to us through writing. And for me, the writing is the best part of it all because you can read it again and again. And uh, when I wrote those words down eight years ago, I can't believe it's eight years now, from my mother, and I began this journey of trying to find out why things didn't work out so well in life. Now I realize that from a soul perspective, we needed to learn it at this stage. And now I'm sharing it with other people who are also looking for this kind of wonderful opportunity to heal the difficulties they had in life. Luann, thank you so much. Thank you for sharing that and that it is possible for everybody to do this and that you teach workshops and classes on how to develop this skill. So thank, thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me here. I appreciate it. God bless. Reflex machine and basically it stims, stimulates the bottom of your feet and helps repair any electrical connections in the body. And then we're doing the foot ionization Sharon. detox therapies here, but where the foot gets ionized and it draws from 3,000 pores in your feet and helps detox your system. Sharon, how does that feel to you? It feels great. I'm so happy I'm to do this. Okay, so it's pulling out, you know, possible toxins and um, and don't feel bad. My water is much, much darker uh, than yours. And of course, um, you know, it depends on what you're eating, what, you know, what exposures may have happened to the environment. But a lot of people do get the darker color. And, you know, we don't, we don't want to scare anybody. The, the water changes because of the ionization process, but there are different toxins being pulled out. So thank you for being a part of this and showing us uh, how this works. William, do you want to tell us anything else about this? No, not really. Okay. I also have two machines for sale up there, actually. So if anybody's interested, I'm selling two foot detox machines today. So how cool is that? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.